Good morning. Today we welcome to the clubhouse special guest, Albus. Albus is a mini poodle mix and he's 11 months old and he belongs to Samuel Askew and Samuel is on the couch. Samuel is in the fourth grade now. So Albus is so soft. I wish you could feel his lovely fur. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for coming, Albus. Yeah. So Samuel, for our QT 101 interview, what is your favorite color? Gold, sil gold, silver, red. Woo, gold, silver, red. That's nice. Blue. Blue. Lots of great favorite colors. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite candy? Mm. Reese's. Reese's. Reese's okay. Pieces. Reese's Pieces. That's even better. What about your favorite pizza? Pepperoni pizza with stuffed crust. Oh, pepperoni pizza with stuffed crust. Mm, that's making me hungry. <laughs> so we just met your pet, Albus. Mm -hmm. So I don't need to ask you that question. If you could do anything in the whole wide world, what would you do? Mm -hmm. Bring peace. Bring peace. End wow. war. And what? End war. End war. I love that. That is a very good answer. So Those everyone would get along. Yes. We need to get along. Every one of us, right? Mm -hmm. Do you remember back in November when I asked you that question in the clubhouse with yeah. all the kids? You answered, take sin out of the world. Mm -hmm. And everyone in the whole clubhouse went, oh, isn't that nice? I like that answer too, and this answer about peace and ending the war. But those are great answers. And we all enjoy learning more about you, Samuel, and your buddy, Albus, which I'm sure is taking a nap right now no, or getting his belly rubbed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. By your mommy, Gigi, right? Mm-hmm. All the time. All the time. I don't blame him. He's a smart dog. Well, today's message is titled, Ruffles' Great Escape. When my two children were very young, we had a dog named Ruffles. Ruffles was a Lhasa Apso. Every morning when we left the house to go to school and work, we would put Ruffles in the garage. We didn't want him to stay outside in the fence backyard because there was a flea problem where we lived in Grand Prairie, Texas. This routine worked well for a couple of weeks until one day. We arrived home as usual, but as we opened the front door, Ruffles greeted us inside the house. How did he get inside, we asked each other. Maybe someone forgot to lock the door going to the garage. We checked the door. It was still closed and locked. We checked the garage. Nothing was out of place. Here's a picture of Ruffles at that time and my daughter, Mindy, and my son, Kevin. We searched inside the house, too, and when my son, Kevin, went to his room, he saw where Ruffles had been sleeping on his bed. Maybe we just thought we had put Ruffles in the garage this morning, we said to each other. So the very next day, we made sure to put Ruffles in the garage. That night, when we got home, the same thing happened again. Ruffles greeted us inside the house. This time, we went on a much more thorough search to uncover the mystery of Ruffles' great escape. We noticed white powdery dust all over the garage floor. Ruffles' paw tracks were everywhere, so we followed them around. They led us to a tall metal cabinet pushed against a wall. We moved that cabinet away from the wall to find a large hole near the base of the floor and more white dust. We got down onto the floor and peered into the hole. We saw another hole and fabric. That fabric looks familiar, Mindy said. Then it dawned on us, that's our couch. We ran into the house and moved the couch away from the wall and sure enough, there was a second hole in the wall. Ruffles had been digging and digging and tunneling his way into the house each day while we were gone. He obviously wanted to be with his family so much that he was willing to dig through two layers of sheetrock in two walls to get to us. Once inside, he learned that we weren't there, so he took long naps on Kevin's bed. Ruffles' efforts teach us a lot about having a close relationship with God. 
God has already done everything to be with us, and he will do anything to remain close to us. So we must do our part to get close to God. We won't need to dig through walls like Ruffles did, but we can talk to God, we can listen to him, we can pray, and just be quiet in his presence. So I've asked Samuel to read our scripture for us today. So go ahead, Samuel. But as for, but as for me, I get as close to God as I can. I have chosen him, and I will tell everyone about the wonderful ways he's rescued me. Psalm 73, 28. Good job. So I thank you for tuning in to us every week, and thank you, Samuel, and your puppy, Alvis, and your mom, Gigi, for coming in so that we, they can meet you today. And I hope we'll see you at the big D Street party to move you up next Saturday, August 29th. Please be safe. See you soon. Bye.